there's more trust and more faith in the other students and taking what they have to say. They all know a lot about the history of the Middle East and conflicts over here and as we know a lot about what happens in the West and how the processes and everything in the history as well. So it's not a huge surprise that these are other students who were just like us. I was really looking for some personal interaction with um, some students that we don't usually get a chance to interact with. Not only do we want a small interactive seminar, but the small interactive seminar that if I had my druthers I would teach would be a Causes of War seminar, which just happens to work great, I think, with kind of the two locations where we happen to be doing this class, right? Um, both Washington, D.C. And, and Doha and the broader Middle East. My name is John Stites, and I am Assistant Director of Classroom Educational Technology Services here on the main campus. And for this class, Causes of War, Government 310, I've been providing technical services all semester. The Polycom Telepresence Unit is fairly straightforward, designed not to require technical assistance for the basic connections. But I have been monitoring many of the classes with my notebook computer. RPX Doha is the global classroom, and the two other venues are other conference rooms to which we sometimes connect. To connect for the class, I would simply press the RPX Doha button, and the system would automatically try to connect both codecs. The classroom setting is very important for this kind of interaction because people feel more comfortable or more safe expressing their ideas, but then also listening to what other people have to say. Uh, I completely agree with Zach. I think that over here, sometimes we have to play devil's advocate. It's always interesting to hear the, their side of the argument. And in, in a lot of cases, it's uh, we find it to be like we have the same ideas. Causes of War is intended to be an upper-level undergraduate seminar um, that covers some of the major theoretical and empirical issues in Causes of War, which has always been one of the, the central areas of focus in the study of international relations. The first two, two, three classes, I think it was a bit weird because everyone just staring at you at all the time, so in other, you know, you're just looking at their faces, uh, like, there's no respite, you can't really move to your left, <laughs> right, you got my get out of the picture, so, but uh, you get comfortable, I mean, it's a small class size, you get to know the people, so, like, you know, a small little joke starts out. The fact that you can actually see their faces and make out kind of what they look like, um, the first three classes were kind of like a guessing game as to what everybody else looked like, and you could kind of tell, but um, I think it's hard to have a discussion without being able to look somebody in the face. There's intellectual growth that is happening, not just because these are extraordinarily bright people, right, but because they've been, they've been put in a position to have interactions and, and experiences that they've never had before. And that's definitely a, a positive benefit to be able to see the expression um, and really hear the tone of voice and have that kind of interaction versus maybe doing something written or even even teleconferencing, I think that this is much better. But at the same time, I think that um, this is a good building block, but that the trip part of the course is absolutely necessary too because I didn't feel as close to anybody over there as I do now. And I think that even that those five days that we spent together are just, I mean, I've been talking on Skype with people since I've gotten back. There is a certain asymmetry in the class, in the sense that, that the DC students get to do, go to Doha, but the Doha students don't come here, right? Um, and I think there is something to actually seeing the campus and seeing the environment in which students are operating. Ideally, what would I like? I would love it if the Doha students could come here for a week. Um, I, think it would, I think it would only make the experience even stronger for them. But, you know, I, I, I'd echo what, what a lot of the students have said, what all the students have said, which is that as, as great as this technology is, and it is great and has enabled certain things, it's, it's the combination of the technology and the, then sort of the opportunity to actually meet face to face, which really sort of makes it, um, makes it all the more better. As an educator, there's something amazing that when you, when you see a class work, right? Um, and and this, this class is working, right?